Hey guys, welcome back to Lost to Recovery. Today I've got an awesome hunt lined up for you. We're going to be hitting the ocean, guys. It's been an absolute crazy couple of days. We've had some huge surf just yesterday as well. Massive cuts in the sand. I've been doing some dry land hunting and turning up with all sorts of treasure. It's been absolutely awesome. Today we are going to be using my White Shark Mix sent to us by Sir Blue, guys. Awesome new toy, great for finding treasure, especially those gold chains out there in the ocean this blaster hole two foot by two foot by eight inches deep in a matter of seconds guys so this is a powerful 520 watt machine that's going to help us a lot in the future all right guys let's gear up get out in the water let's see you out there guys cheers <laughs> She sounds like a great target, let's dig it. I just had a curious octopus steal my GoPro camera. Now check this out guys, right there, top middle. Have a look at the head on that, that is a beautiful flat head. That looks like it's about two foot long. She lays there motionless, relying on her camouflage. Smile baby, you're on YouTube. First target was a key. Now I hear a very faint signal on my MindLab Excalibur 2. Now I'm taking the white shark mix and blowing a hole, seeing what is deep within. Now I gotta tell you guys, this is out of detection reach almost of my MindLab Excalibur 2 and have a look what we just found. Here we have two dollars, a 10 cent coin, lead sinkers guys and a lot of them they are everywhere more lead here we go hit what is it you little beauty we have a ring there's still more targets down there too guys crazy multiple targets in the one hole that i barely had a signal on my mind lab excalibur 2. the white shark mix it's going to open a whole new world to us when it comes to finding treasure in deep crevices. Beautiful. More lead. That looks like a bit of brass. That's more cash, guys. None of this is rubbish. This is all money coming out of this one little hole here. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> Uncovering our next target with the white shark mix. Check it out. We have a brass fishing lure More lead sinkers Oh bingo It's our first gold check it out guys. It is tiny that wouldn't even pick up on my mind lab Excalibur 2 Little beauty Here's an interesting fact. Did you know there is a jellyfish called the Immortal Jellyfish? That's right guys, it lives forever.
I can't believe it today. I dug over a hundred targets in a specific location. The best find of the day. Leave a comment down below. Have you ever seen a ring this big? This might actually be the biggest ring of my career. No, it's actually not. I've actually seen one nearly twice the size of this before, but this actually looks like a kid's bangle. This is absolutely huge. Have a look. My thumb is huge. I've been doing boxing for 10 years and I've got massive knuckles. And check this out. It slides straight on. It barely touches the side of my knuckle. That ring is an absolute monster and that is 18 karat gold. I can't say a little beauty because this ring is absolutely monstrous. To be honest, it's not that weighty. It probably feels the same weight as a man's typical wedding band at around seven to eight grams because it is pretty thin. But guys, that is just, it's a chunk of gold, guys. It really is. That is absolutely massive. I couldn't believe it when I was there underwater, just fanning away, and I just seen that glimmer of gold, and I was just like, no way. It is crazy bent. It looks like it's been stepped on, treaded on. It looks like it's been jumped on. I don't know, maybe even the rocks. It's been smashed up against the rocks. That is an absolute awesome find. 18 karat, beautiful yellow gold ring. To check out this little Pandora ring. Now it is silver. I've probably got about maybe 150 of these. No, not that many. I've got quite a few actually. Probably about 10 or 15 of them now. So I'm building up a bit of a, a bit of a collection with Pandora. It's crazy. That is a really cool find. 925 silver Pandora ring. The next best find will have to be. I don't even know what it is. It's a ring. So a ring is a ring in my book. That is really old. 
It's been eaten all the way through. You can just see it's like a honeycomb throughout that ring. So the salt water has really gotten in there and just corroded this ring. Now it could be, I really don't know. <laughs> brass maybe, it's, it's got that, I don't even know if it's brass. Copper possibly, I really don't know. Leave a comment down below guys, what you think this ring is actually made of. It's a really cool, it's an interesting design. It's almost like skeletal kind of design. But really cool and you can tell it, it's just been down there forever guys and that's absolutely awesome that's what i love about hunting these areas have a look at the ocean behind us guys there's plenty of treasure out there that's what i'm learning each and every week that i get out there in the ocean i take you guys there with me it's just non-stop treasure after treasure i can't believe it i'm still my hands are still shaking about it it's just like no way a ring this size i just like to meet the person who's actually he's actually lost this ring guys biggest adrenaline rush is the return people who actually lost this they've lost a piece of their life that's why i love this hobby guys because i'm out there each and every day hunting the ocean finding all this awesome jewelry and treasure and everything else in between even the trash i clean it up because i got my baby boy i don't want him swimming in an ocean full of trash guys we really need to clean it up it's a real adrenaline rush to hand something back to someone who's actually lost it thinking they're never going to see it again and you just see their eyes light up guys it really does make my day and that's why i do this i love this hobby and i love returning rings to rightful owners guys absolutely love it we found over ten dollars in cash today we found over 30 trash targets and lead whoa i couldn't believe the amount of lead sinkers we had today and they're still worth up to two dollars per kilogram you don't need to get too many sinkers to have one kilo of them you can sell your sinkers to fishermen and they'll give you better than scrap metal prices guys which is really awesome so it always pays to pick up all the lead plus we don't want lead in the ocean guys we really don't it goes into our fish it goes into us and we already have enough toxins in there removing all the lead all the trash and guys there's money in it as well trash is not necessarily trash you can make some good money from cleaning out the ocean guys we dug over a hundred targets in total today like that was absolutely awesome in the amount of about four hours of hunting today and i'm finding very fine gold check out the fine pieces of gold that i found i get out the big guns guys i get out that white shark mix and i blow out all those sand crevices and guys to be honest i'm very lucky we had all those sinkers everywhere because i was picking up targets and it was the lead sinkers and right next to that you've seen it the little gold diamond earring next to it the broken gold ring that was nine carat gold as well i found little bits and pieces of other earrings and chains all sorts of stuff out there in these cracks and crevices and getting all the gold targets i don't normally get with my mind lab excalibur 2 simply because the metal is too small and the metal detector will not identify it but luckily with the white shark mix sand on everywhere it was absolutely crazy no worries at all sand blasting through those holes and getting down there getting deep and getting all those gold chains if you lose a ring and you live in sydney contact me at lostjewelrycovery.com.au whether it be on the sand in the water Water, even on the moon guys i can find it reach out to me guys i can help well that's it for today guys share like subscribe follow us on instagram support us on patreon and i'll see you all on the next hunt happy hunting guys cheers <laughs> right wait up i want to meet the owner how good the size of this ring it is absolute monster it's got to be a basketball player or something because this ring look at it <laughs> straight on the farm <laughs>